She about to get her cherry. I'm a virgin. And we've been sluts for a minute. What kind of burger is it though? Slutty. It's super slutty. Slutty burger. Slutty vegan burger. We are outside of Slutty Vegan, a black woman owned restaurant in Atlanta that's getting so much hype. I just had to come down here and see what was up. We got some burgers in the building, guys. Woo! To see a line here every single day, two hours before the restaurant opens, is it's overwhelming. And overwhelming in a great way. I never imagined in a million years that I would be that beacon of imagination that would create a concept that everybody knows and loves called Slutty Vegan. July 2018, I came up with the idea of Slutty Vegan. I was in the house and I was hungry, you know, and I wanted some vegan comfort food and I couldn't find that in Atlanta, especially not on a late night. So it literally came to me like a light bulb. I was sitting there like, slutty vegan. We know that sex sells. So I started thinking of some crazy names to add to my menu and I went in the kitchen and I started cooking. I started putting together recipes and literally everything was history from there. I went from having four people patronizing my business a week to having 150 to now 600 people a day outside the door standing to patronize my business. The worth of the business within the whole year based on the track that we're going, it is a $4 million business called Willie. We continue on the road that we're going, but we've already made more than a million already in the business. Wow. And it's just a blessing because this literally started out as just an idea with no business plan. Like, it was just something that was a vision that came to life. So this is not my first rodeo. And I saved up a lot of money and I opened up a restaurant called Pinky's Jamaican and American Restaurant. Unfortunately, the restaurant burned down. People see the glitz and glam of entrepreneurship, but sometimes people don't really see that hardship that comes with it and the headache and the trauma and the sadness and the fact that sometimes you may feel like you're alone or you don't have the support. So to have to go through that and keep a smile on your face is definitely not an easy task. Now that restaurant was extremely successful, but it was not built on a solid foundation. And you know, when you got things that, that aren't built on a solid foundation, like they tend to fall apart. But that was the best piece of falling apart that could have ever happened because I used those as building blocks to really get to where I needed to be. And that was to create slutty vegan in a way that has never been done before. I'm glad I was able to get you that five if I was great. Watching someone young like her, right, right. like not do it, but do it on a scale, in such a small span of time that is nationwide is nothing short of genius. Black girl magic for real. Yes. We have a widespread variety of items on the menu. Our most popular burger is the one night stand, and that comes with vegan bacon, lettuce, tomato, and our special sauce, we call it the what's the name sauce. And then we have the fussy hussy. It's an all American burger, similar to like a Big Mac. And then we have the menage a trois, that's my favorite. Um, it's lettuce, tomatoes, bacon, vegan shrimp, and the patty, and it's like a loaded patty with the what's the name sauce. It's amazing. The beautiful thing about Slutty Vegan is we switch our menu up every day. So if you come today, you may get one thing, and then if you come tomorrow, you may get something else. So it's the element of surprise that always keeps you on your feet. I'm gonna get the one night stand. I had it before and it's super good. Like, it's mad good. I am beyond excited. Oh my God. I am going to not be a Slutty Vegan virgin in Timor. <laughs> So guys, I got the burger, and we're about to eat. Uh. <laughs> yeah, the fries. The fries is pretty tasty. I saved all my calories for this. This is the Fussy Hussy. Yeah, I'm standing up. Our line. That sauce is lit. When it comes to our food truck, it's like a cat and mouse game. Every day we post at 3 o'clock the location that we'll be in, and people literally start lining up three hours before. So I went to the food truck. I waited in line for like three hours, but it was worth it. It was worth it. Like, me and my homie were like, oh my gosh. But everybody in line was super cool. Like, I even just met her on her birthday. Like, everybody's super dope, super friendly, yeah. They are willing to find us. They are willing to wait, and they are willing to support. So it's like a model that we conquered, and a lot of people are like, what's the secret? Like, what do you guys do? And it's all in the energy that we put out. <laughs> She's going slutty, y'all. Oh, wow, wow, wow. My motto is when you have a business, make sure you're always giving back because the more that you give, the more you will get. One of the reasons that I've been so successful is a lot of the times I get a lot of people who look like me and you who pour into me, so I make sure that I pour into the community. That is what a true entrepreneur does.
99% of my employees I found on Instagram. Instagram is one of the biggest supporters of how successful this business has been, social media especially. Um, so I want to give them the opportunity. Not even just my employees. Like I got my brand designer for Slutty Vegan from Instagram through a competition. My commercials, everything that I do as it relates to the business, I source these people through Instagram because these are the people that may not necessarily have the access to a great opportunity. So now I'm giving you access to that great opportunity. And I always tell my employees, if you just want to work at Slutty Vegan for the rest of your life, you got a problem, you can't work here. So I make sure that we find people who have the entrepreneurial spirit, who really want to do big things, who dream big, because those are the people who are really going to take this business to the next level. What I notice about the customers who stand in line is the fact that they go hard for the slut gang. <laughs> And it's such a blessing because most of these people who come and patronize the business aren't even vegan. And that's what's the beautiful thing about it. And that's why people see it as this big phenomenon. Because historically, well, after slavery days, black people didn't have the resources to eating healthy. It was a rich white lifestyle, right? So now you see all these people coming together, not only to support this young woman who's thriving, they come to get some really good food that tastes good and just so happens to be vegan and plant-based. And it's just cool. I feel like a modern day Harriet Tubman and I'm freeing the people to eat a healthier lifestyle. It's just amazing. I got, I got, I got, I got, I got sauce in my hair, y'all. Like it's just that good.